Ah, life on the water. Peaceful, picturesque, maybe a little cramped. But if you have a big budget and can afford to splash out, houseboats have just gone bling. Take a peek at this glossy video. The developers behind this boat hope to build and sell another 10 this year. So I arranged a viewing to find out what life on board a millionaire's barge is really like. So let me show you downstairs. Wow. So how much does this cost and what would you get for your money? Well, this costs one and a half million pounds which is about the same as a penthouse here in Wandsworth would cost. But here you get probably more square footage. You get two and a half thousand square foot of totally bespoke, design, interior designed barge, which is in excess of 40 metres long. And you get a 60 year tenure on the mooring here too. Now our estate agent is right to mention mooring. If you're thinking of buying a barge, whatever the size, this should be one of your first questions. Well, there's no denying that this three-bedroom houseboat is gorgeous, as well as being ultra-high spec. But what about those of us that don't have 1.5 million in the bank? Will we be able to live our river dream? I made some calls and eventually got in touch with Ben, who's been renting you? a room in this boat on a southwest London mooring for the last three months. So, welcome aboard. Wow, this is quirky. This is great, isn't it? Now, this is no luxury cruiser, but it's got character. I insisted on the full tour. The master bedroom through here where I, where I am. Mind your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, at first glance, it doesn't kind of look like there's much space, but like I've got my clothes in here, I've got my toiletries and my jackets hanging up. I've kind of got everything I need. So this is the kitchen. Um, I'm a quite an avid cook, so... Uh, Oh, and again, it's small but perfectly formed, so actually you've got everything you need to cook a decent meal, haven't you? So how much does it cost per month to live on this houseboat? It cost me £480, but that's all inclusive, so that's bills and everything as well. Um, which is, Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, I, before I moved on here, I was looking in Putney and Hammersmith and places kind of close to work, but not as central as this, and these were just so much more expensive. And after only a short stay, Ben seems to have caught the houseboat bug. I, I would genuinely think about buying a boat now that I've lived here. Um, it's just, it's, you know, provided I can get a location like this, it would just be completely worth it. So you don't need a million pounds in the bank to enjoy a central London riverside lifestyle. For those of you looking to rent, find the right spot at the right price and you could bag a boating bargain.